Hello y'all, this is Ninja DC, my first media breakdown video, where I break down what makes a certain piece of media epic. As in epically good, or epically horrible and entertaining so. Either way, I'll be most likely talking about animation in some way or, well, form. Either that be games, cartoons, anime, or animated feature films like Zootopia. Why do I choose to start with Zootopia? Well, because it was released just recently, and also, it was f***ing amazing. There are many reasons why Zootopia was an amazing film. But to keep it simple, let's break down Zootopia with the three key elements of any story or movie. The universe, the characters, and the plot. Let's start with the universe. When I say universe, I don't just mean the setting, but also the aesthetics and presentation. Aesthetics help shape our perception of the setting and story after all. Zootopia's namesake city is a brilliant realized universe, with Zootopia's animation succeeding the same way a lot of cartoons and anime are as of late, by being very animated. No, not animated as in animated animated, but animated as in lively. Modern Flash cartoons like MLP and Steven Universe are just filled to the brim with constant flowing motion. And so is Utopia. The city is just so well realized and alive with the amount of detail that went to every single pixel of the universe. From its organic use of modern technology to the facial tics that go into the characters. It just feels so alive and, well, colorful. And this brilliant realized universe gives birth to a terrific cast. All the characters are very multifaceted with a lot of depth to them. Even the very minor characters. With many animals living up to their stereotypes but even more breaking them in very different ways. The mix just feels natural and not forced, like you understand where each of these characters are coming from. And nowhere is this better demonstrated than with Judy and Nick. These two just have perfect chemistry, and don't take my shipping bias word for it. Take the words of the thousands of reviewers that agree. They're just the perfect yin and yang combo of street smarts and book smarts. With Judy being a good-hearted extrovert heroine that is maybe a little too gullible, with Nick being cynical though cunning. However, like with the actual yin and yang sign, both share aspects of the other that slowly get revealed, while does have a very soft side hidden underneath his cynical demeanor, while Judy seems to take a disturbing amount of pleasure from pulling off a hustle. Boom. They just make the perfect team, and maybe more. I kid, I kid. But seriously, I have not seen this much indirect shipping teases since, well, fairy tale. Check this out! Sure, they're just good friends. This brings us to the final point, the plot and theme, which are what helped Zootopia stand out amongst the recent Disney 3D renaissance. What I mean is, I consider Zootopia a better film than Frozen or even Wreck-It Ralph. Minor spoilers, this film directly tackles the modern issues of racism and discrimination in a rather creative way with the animals standing in for different cultural and racial groups. A bunny can call another bunny cute, but when other animals it's a little... <gasps> the true cleverness of it though, is how which groups they represent are very left open for interpretation. Personally, I draw a lot of symbolism to South Africa. In terms of the presentation of the theme, the plot is structured just brilliantly, with the story circling back on itself in a, oh, that's where they're going with it sort of way. It reminds me a lot of Princess Tutu, where we reach our expected resolution about halfway through, then everything gets flipped on its head but in a natural way that doubles down on the moral. Because spoilers, racism, and prejudice are ironically found rather equally amongst all ethnic groups. Again, ironic but true. Zootopia serves as a perfect modern fable to address these issues in a very not lecturing way. So yeah, Zootopia is an amazing modern fable with a lot of depth to it that can be enjoyed by well, all ages, and more importantly teaches future generations a good moral. So, yeah, go see it. Like, right now. Like, right now, right now. Unless you're living in one of the regions, it's still not released in yet because Disney decided it was a great idea to break up its release over the course of, like, two months. <sighs> Disney. <laughs>